Hey, this is Anthony with Maritime Foam. We are talking Fortnite again in this review, uh, except this time instead of the... Except this time instead of big, we are going to the other end of the spectrum and talking small. Uh, more specifically, we are looking at the 6SH hammer shot blaster. I've heard some good things about this one, so I can't wait to check it out. I'm gonna try to keep things a little bit shorter and a little bit more to the point, so wish me luck. Before we open this up, I wanna talk about some of the other Hammer Prime blasters in my collection. And when I think Hammer Prime blaster, I think of the hammer shot. This blaster, I think, is one of the coolest looking ones. You can operate it with one hand, so you have a great opportunity to dual wield just like this. And I think that's really cool. Uh, it has a great look to it. The ergonomics aren't bad. I really like this blaster. This is a stock one. This is shooting on my chronograph, which I've discovered is not super accurate, but I'm still using it as kind of a baseline until I get a better one. My chronograph is saying uh, in the low 50s with this stock one. And I have a modded one with a spring from Out of Darts that my chronograph says is getting uh, high 60s, 70s. It definitely does shoot a bit harder. I just don't know exactly how hard in real life numbers. But that's kind of the baseline. That's the best I can work with right now with what I have. Besides the hammer shot, another one I like quite a bit is the zombie shot double strike. Uh, a cool little uh, jolty type pistol that also has that hammer prime and a smart AR. Uh, I just think it's it's kind of neat as well because again, you can have that as another dual wielding option. And it's pretty comfy for a small gripped little blaster. And then I, I'm not going to go through every hammer prime blaster I have. I do have a couple Doomlands ones, which I think are without going into detail not good. Uh, plus, if I have a Hammer Prime blaster, uh, I don't want a massive one. I think that's kind of weird and silly, personally. That's why I'd... <laughs> let's drift outside of Nerf for a second and talk about the Adventure Force Busby Thundershot, which is, I was going to review this at one point and I just didn't bother. This has to be the most uncomfortable blaster that I have held in my hands of all of my blasters. This grip is... Uh, this blaster looks cool, but this grip is just, just ridiculous. And it's a hammer prime, and you can't, you, you can't actually single-handedly operate it, which to me is a big part of the advantage. So you, you kind of have to two-hand this one. And just priming that a couple shots, it hurts my hand. It leaves little dents in my delicate, delicate graphic designer hands. Yeah, the performance isn't great. I, I think they came out with a with a fixed up version of this one at some point. I don't know if I have the better one or the original one. I don't care. I'm not going to ever get another one. Uh, I had a second one and I returned it because they were so cheap. I thought, oh, it'd be cool to have two. Uh, <laughs> and I couldn't dual wield them. And it's just so bad. With that out of the way, we've talked about the Thunder Shot, the Double Strike, and the Hammer Shot, both stock and modded. I don't know why I switched the camera there. You can't tell the difference. They look the same. But this is the modded one. Now let's talk about the Fortnite 6SH. Let's open it up. Whoa! <laughs> this is this looks really cool. And what a weird, weird grip. Hey, I can actually operate it with one hand. That's a good sign. Let's load this up with darts. Boah, magic. Uh, I <laughs> One thing to note on this. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to shoot a few. Uh, I like the look of this. I think this looks really cool. Uh, if I'm comparing it to a hammer shot, it's definitely more on the cartoony side, uh, which fits with, you know, fits with the Fortnite side. I still like the look of the hammer shot more personally. Um, but this does look cool. I will say I haven't put this big silly barrel on here yet because, uh, there's, it doesn't come off. It's not an end strike barrel. It clips on and then it stays on. If you put this on, you are permanently reducing the performance of your blaster. All this barrel drag right here, this this is not a big enough barrel to, to not cause your dart to slow down. So I haven't put this on yet. I know for the Heavy SR, I avoided filing down the click points 
so that the barrel could come off and on. But I think for this one, I will file these down. I just, I don't want in a pistol, especially. I don't think this barrel, I don't know. To me, that's, I like goofy, but that's maybe a bit too much. Let's fire this blaster and see how it works. We're gonna use my shifty chronograph. <laughs> see, 73.8. Seventy four. Seventy three. So interesting. So again, whether my chronograph is right or not, I am getting the same readings as my modded hammer shot, which that's kind of interesting. I, I would like to see the internals of this one. I don't know that I'll break this one open tonight. I just meant for this to be a quick video, um, but I definitely would be curious to look inside it at some point soon. Oh, elites going everywhere. Oh, I'm all out. So based on that, I might turn the camera around, uh, let you guys see the, the darts fly a few times. All right, a few shots in my basement. I'm gonna aim at the letters in the pop-up pod. I'm probably 20 feet away, I would say. Not very far, but I'm inside. Angle up a bit. So incredibly uncomfortable, but persistent. My thumb hurts now though. I don't like it. Uh, now let's try this guy. <laughs> Whoop, I was aiming up like I would for the other. Yeah, uh, we'll throw we'll throw one more in here. Well that dart was really bent. You get the idea. On modded hammer shot. Whoops. Oop. Modded hammer shot. You can definitely see <laughs> that has a bit more snap. Ah. And now the SH six. It definitely, the Adventure Force waffles, as great as they are, on some blasters, you do take a little bit of a hit. I definitely felt like we took a hit on this one, more so than I would find putting them in a hammer shop. But since I use, I use mostly Adventure Force waffles, well, I mean, it kind of is what it is. I'm cutting this in. I did put the barrel on. I had a little bit of a brain fart. I can just unscrew it if I really want to take this off. So just for review purposes, I put it on. Uh, it's bigger, it's goofier, it's very, very front heavy, but it does have a big iron feel. So let's fire off a few. Aiming at the pop-up pod logo. It definitely takes a bit of a hit on some of these because the dirt is hitting the inside of that barrel. So, yeah, I don't know. I was right. I... It looks kind of neat, and maybe if it was modded, it would be fine to have that on there, uh, but it definitely needs more power to be useful with that attachment. Yeah, I, I'd have to say first impressions of this. I do like it. I The the grip the grip is actually spacing out my, my fingers and hand enough that I feel a little, it feels a little bit cumbersome compared to this. I feel like this, I have a firm, firm grip on it, and it's not going anywhere. Ooh, shouldn't really dry fire a blaster with the air restrictor removed. I thought that was my stock one. It's just very comfortable. This, because the way this flares out, I don't, it doesn't feel as steady. Like when I'm, when I'm priming this, it just feels a little bit more precarious. So interesting. I definitely like the performance boost, but I would almost want to, right out of the gate, mod this by dribbling out this area so it has kind of more of a, a profile like this or 
maybe 3D printing something to put on here. I just don't see me putting on this giant thing. What do you think? Is that silly of me? I mean, that's what it is. It's what I bought. Should I use it as is? I'm going to fire a couple through this without clicking it in just and try to hold it steady and see if it, what kind of performance drop off it has. I'm just going to hold this as straight as I can. I don't know. I feel like I saw a bit of a drop and I was holding it, I think, the way it would click on. I don't know. Big goofy attachment. I'm, I've already said too, I'm not a big, I'm not a big rail and muzzle attachment person. I like stocks. Uh, I think that's a great attachment. I like attachments for flashlights. I like attachments for uh, other things like cameras. I don't really care for, I don't really want to put things on any Nerf Blaster that reduced my performance generally. So this was a quick one. That's my thoughts. Fortnite 6 SH. Uh, overall pretty positive. I got this one on sale. I don't think I'd pay full price for it. It was almost 30 Canadian full price. I got this for 20. That feels, that feels okay. I don't know, even with the performance boost, I'd rather just have my modded hammer shot, to tell you the truth. It's more, it's a lot more comfortable. And I like the looks of it and the ergonomics more too. So Anyway, until next time, I'm Anthony, and I hope you got something out of this review. Pow.